Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drain. Today we're cleaning a downspout drain and a catch basin drain. And you can see where they come out right over here. Got a small flow of water coming out and you can see all the leaves and debris and mud that's coming out of this line. And back up here is where we're going into the line, into a catch basin. And it's been flooding all over the patio back here. We've got the hose running in the air. It's taking a good amount of water, but we just got to get it wide open so it doesn't ever back up for them for a long time. You can see our cables come clear out through the line. We're going to pull it back. Going back through and you can see all oh, great flow of water that came out through here. It just runs away. Okay, so now we're cleaning a second line from another uh, channel drain up here at the top. That line comes out here. We already cleaned this line. You can see we've got a lot of debris that came out. We've got a good flow of water and I can hear the cable getting closer and closer. You can see our cable just came out. Now we've got a real good flow of water coming through here. We'll pull that back and these two lines are clean. So this is a good example of a maintenance. About three years ago, we waterproofed this foundation all the way down through here. We added these drains coming out. We added this catch basin over here. We added this catch basin, the channel drain, which comes from another sump pump down in the crawl space. And it's been about three years. This was just totally full of mud and debris, leaves, things like that. So it's always a good idea to clean these lines about every three to five years as well. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.